All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in for another season of the Megas Work Project here at Nev's Garage. Now, in the last season, we made some really significant progress in the project. Well, we're back again. We're going to kick this episode off with a bang. We're going to be getting stuck into really nailing down the wiring on the Megas Work. So, what do I mean by that? Well, up until now, it's been pretty much prototype wiring. Radio. Now, the Megas Work lives in the boot stop location of the ECU for the Vortex. But now it's well and truly prototyped. We've been through the proof of conception. It's running beautifully. Let's really fully install it properly. So jump on into the boot with me and we'll get stuck into it. All right, so this is how she is now, okay? We've just got the Mega Squirt sitting on the floor. All our wiring in there. You'll see how there's so much extra of it. That's because you know, I didn't want to cut it too short. I wanted to have plenty for it later when we made it shorter. So it's coming from both sides. And then up under the boot deck where the factory ECU is, I have my adapter loom, which I made just to test all the inputs and outputs initially, and the factory wiring. I've got a relay array there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to finally ditch the factory ECU, which is sitting there at the moment purely just for a mount hasn't been running on that for ages. So let's get rid of that first and see where we're going to actually mount our Mega Squirt. Let's get the factory ECU out of the way now. Uh, he's out now. Alright, so here's the Mega Squirt. Now, figure out where I'm going to mount it. All right, so one thing I'll do is, you'll notice here, and you'll remember, if you watch the series, I've got two nuts out here. That's where I had the relays mounted. So what I'm going to do is put nuts out in all these other existing holes. I'm going to cut a flat sheet of aluminium. It's going to fit in here. That's where I'm going to screw the Mega Squirt to, and then it's going to bolt up under here. Okay. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is use a piece of cardboard to make a template for my aluminium insert. template so I'm gonna go cut it out of my aluminium now all right guys well here's my bit of aluminum I've cut it into the shape now right so what I have to do now of course is to put it up in here mark where the holes are gonna be so that it can be screwed up in there all right, so let's just test it for the shape It's pretty good. It's gonna fit all right. Cool. Alrighty. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just put a dab of grease on all these nut certs, push the plate up in there and mark it, and then I can drill it. All right. There's stuff in here.
All right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. Yep, that's right. Now I can pop some holes in this plate. All right, so I've got the holes popped in the plate. I'm just gonna wipe the grease off these nut certs. Actually, I'm just gonna put a bit of grease on the knob of that little pin there. So I reckon I might have to drill a clearance hole for it. Sit it up in there, see how she fits. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. Just have to make a couple of adjustments. I'm going to make this notch here a little bigger. And I'm going to take the corner off here, keep it away from the torsion bar for the, uh, for the boot. I think that'll be pretty good then. All right, cool. Let's go make those adjustments. Alrighty, so version two of the plate coming in now for a test. Now it's time to mark where the mega squirt is going to sit now. Alright, so I reckon about there to the end of itself. And then we'll have the relay array along the front. Like that. Boom, 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 boom. Yep, reckon that'll be good. All right, so I'm going to take it out now and see about drilling some holes for the ECU and the relay array down the front here. All right, guys. Well, here's our plate. Oh yeah, let's mount it in. All right, now it's time for the ECU. All right, so there it is, guys, mounted in there, nice and solid. Nice and tidy. Now you'll see all these extra holes I've put here. That's for mounting relays, wiring looms, brackets if they ever need to be mounted, and all that sort of thing. So, cool. Let's have a close-up look at it. Looks pretty schmick. Let's 
tucked up nicely too. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that's our Mega Squirt mounted in our car now properly. It's nice and sturdy. Looks nice and neat. I reckon next episode we'll start tidying up some of this wiring. So that'll be really cool. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you're notified about that video as soon as it drops. All right, until then, thanks for the support by liking and sharing. Please keep subscribing. We'll see you next time on Nev's Garage. All right, guys, there's our Mega Squirt mounted up under our parcel shelf now. She's nice and sturdy, looks nice and neat. I reckon that's a real grouse job. Now I think next time we'll get stuck into our wiring, start really nailing that down. So make sure you hit the old subscribe button so you're ready to see that video as soon as it drops. Until then, thanks for your support by liking and sharing. We'll catch up with you next time on Nev's Garage.